So, Tori, I'm loving some of the creative things that are coming out of this otherwise really crummy time that we're living in right now. But it goes to show that humans are capable of extraordinary things. We're finding new ways to communicate, ways that don't even involve the Internet in some cases. We're taking care of each other. We're finding new ways to connect with each other. And I have got another story for you. This one is out of Queensland, Australia, and it involves uh, fancy clothes and garbage. Any guesses? Maybe somebody is designing high fashion out of their trash? Not exactly. So uh, in Queensland, Australia, they, like us in most parts of the U.S., are under some sort of a stay-at-home order or suggestion. And um, Danielle Askew, Askew was telling her friend that the only time she really gets to get outside is when she takes out her garbage every week. And that she actually looks forward to garbage day. This is her time to get out in the world. And she's just walking to the end of her driveway to take out the garbage. So her friend said, why don't you dress up to go take out the trash? <laughs> and she said, that's a great idea. I will put on my fanciest clothes and go take out the trash. Because every now and then I'll see another human also taking out their trash. And I want to be looking my best. So her friend said, I'll make you a deal. You got to take out, when you take out your trash, you got to dress up. I will do the same thing, but we have to promise to share pictures of our fancy clothes and our trash cans. She said, deal. So what started off as just a couple of friends sharing pictures turned into a Facebook group that they set up and they call it the bin isolation outing Facebook group. <laughs> <laughs> on Facebook, it is now up to 1 million members, <gasps> and these are all people who are getting dressed up to take out their garbage, but it has evolved, Tori. So not only are people wearing fancy clothes to take out their garbage, but they are dressing up in period costumes, in <gasps> Halloween costumes, they're dressing up in mm -hmm. themes. And they're also dressing up their trash cans. What? Yes! So there's all these pictures of people dressing up, whatever that means to them, and taking out their trash. Creativity knows no bounds when there's a little imagination involved. You know... I just love this. Now that I'm thinking about it, that walk from... The door, maybe your garbage cans go at the end of a driveway or maybe yours yeah. are in the back of a house. But that walk is the length of a catwalk, no? <gasps> at a fashion show? Right, yes. So you've got your bag of trash, you've got your outfit, head to toe, glamour, and then you walk uh, down that runway. Yes, and then you pose at the end when you drop your trash in the can. Then pose, then turn around and walk back. Uh, uh, what is uh, happening? Uh, what is happening? We've lost her. We've lost sorry, her. Sorry, I just... Wow. Uh, my mind is already exploding with <laughs> outfit ideas and, and music and production details. I have to get to work. Tori, you got to join this Facebook group along with the other million members of it that are all dressing up in all sorts of ways to take out the trash. I gotta tell you, if I put like a costume party spin on taking out the garbage, my kids would be fighting to take out the trash <laughs> instead of who's <laughs> going to take out the trash. I just love this idea. I love people.